Hi guys, Scott here, and for you today, we have got some hockey skills and drills. Now, I've got my hockey stick, and I have got my ball. Now, you can use a tennis ball. I've got a little big ball here, okay? Any sort of ball that's, that can um, roll and that's not too bouncy will be absolutely fine, okay? Anything that's suitable for hockey. Now, I'm gonna put that to one side, because we're gonna do our warm-up. For our warm-up, we're gonna need one cone. Okay, so get yourself in a decent space, okay, you don't have to be too far away from other people, but make sure you've got enough space to move in, okay, and we're going to use this cone for our warm-up. Now, we're going to do four different types of movements, okay, we're going to have a go to start with, we're going to run around the cone, okay, going forwards, sideways, backwards, okay, going around your cone. The second one, we're going to move into is sideways jumping, two feet, jumping over the cone to two feet and jumping back and jumping as fast as we can, okay. The third one will be hopping, so just pick a leg, I'm going to jump off my left leg, okay. Pick a leg and jump over the cone, try and control your landing so you can bend your knees as you land so you don't fall over. Okay, trying to jump over the cone. Don't worry if you touch it, that's fine. Okay, jumping over. Fourth one, we're gonna do a hopscotch over the cone. So just stand behind the cone, two feet together. We're gonna jump out, two feet wide, and back together. And then we're gonna go backwards. Jump out wide and forward. We're gonna try to do each one for about 20 seconds. So it's gonna be about a minute and a half. Just over a minute, all right? Are we ready? Okay, get yourselves ready. Three, two, one, go. Running around, shuffling around the cone. Try and keep moving. Keep moving, going around your cone. Last few seconds. Okay, into your jump, two feet together. See how many you can do in the 20 seconds. Keep going, couple more. Okay, into your hop, pick a leg. Again, see if you can count. Legs might be starting to hurt a little bit. Lots of jumping. Maybe swap legs if your legs getting a bit tired. Last couple, into our hopscotch, behind the cone, out and then in, and then back, and you can see if you get those legs wide, but make sure you've got enough control that you can bring them back, last five seconds. Okay guys, good work. Now a little go at something else that we're going to do. With your cone, I'm going to shout out either left or right hand. So while I'm running on the spot, if I shout out left hand, I want you to touch down and touch your cone as fast as you can. So, just as an example, running on the spot, if I shout right hand, I'm going to touch down with my right hand, okay? So, left hand, right hand. If you get a bit confused, don't worry, it's all good. Are we ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Jogging on the spot. Ready? Left hand. Left hand. Right hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Last one. Left hand. Oh, wrong one. Okay, guys. Well done. Hi, guys. Ryan here. Okay. Scott's just done your warm up. We're now going to bring in the stick and we're just going to look at how to hold the stick properly and what to do. Okay, whilst we're doing the drills and what not to do maybe as well, okay? So, some of you may know already, okay?
Okay, most hockey sticks that you're going to have in school are going to all be right-handed. Very rare you get a left-handed hockey stick. So we're all going to be holding the hockey stick exactly the same way. So we're going to have our left hand at the top of our hockey stick. Okay, similar to our tennis grip, so our thumb pointing down towards the end of the hockey stick. And then our right hand is going to come on at the bottom of the hockey stick, not on the actual stick, okay, just on the black grip or whatever colour grip you've got on it. Okay, but this one's going to be a loose grip. That is so that we can turn the hockey stick, which we'll come to later on before we do some of the other drills, because we'll need to know how to turn the hockey stick. Okay, so it's a tight grip with our left hand and a loose grip with our bottom right hand. Okay? A few little rules that we've sort of come up with with our hockey stick when holding it. We don't want you to be holding it up here. Okay, nothing on the head of the hockey stick, so this bit at the end. We don't want it to come above your waist. Okay, because if it comes above your waist, you're more than likely, okay, if you're quite close to someone, might end up hitting someone with the end of the hockey stick, and we don't want that. Okay, so with our feet, we would like you to have your feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, so maybe just a bit more. It's up to you, okay, how you feel comfortable. Our knees need to be slightly bent, so that we're bending down. Okay, we need to be on our toes, so that we can move from side to side. Again, that tight grip and the loose grip, okay, on our hockey stick, with our knees bent, toes, just on our toes, ready to move around, okay, and our feet shoulder width apart. And that should be perfect for all of the different moves that we're going to do today and all the different drills, okay. Okay, so this is going to be our first drill. Something a bit very quite simple to do to start off with. Just moving the ball round, getting used to holding the hockey stick and moving the ball round our cones, keeping it under control. So, with our hockey stick, remember, loose grip on the bottom with our right hand, tight grip on the top with our left hand. Okay, our knees bent. We're going to pop our ball down, okay, in front of us, and we are going to try and push the ball round the cones. Okay, they're not really circle, round the circle, because remember, we're only allowed to use the flat side of our hockey stick, okay? So we can't be using the curve, the bumpy side, okay? It's always the flat side of our hockey stick. So we need to be moving around. I don't want you to stand in one position, okay? Because you can just reach and do it that way, okay? But I want you to actually follow your ball round the whole way, so that you're using it like a, almost like a racetrack. You go around the cones, around the outside of the cones, okay? My cones, are about my hockey stick sort of length apart from each other, so about a metre away. It's not a massive, massive space to use, okay, nice and, nice and compact. So we're gonna go around for about 30 seconds, see how many times we can go around, okay? I want you to be pushing the ball. Whenever we're gonna be hitting it, knocking it along. When we play hockey, we're trying to push the ball. The ball should always be in contact with the end of your stick, with the, the head of the hockey stick on the flat side, okay? So I'll just do one more demonstration. So move around, keep it under nice control. Don't go too fast, you're going to lose control. Okay, just go around, keep it as close as we can as these cones. We're going to do that for 30 seconds to see how many times you can go around. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Even that ball nice and close, remember not to go too fast. If your ball rolls off, just go and get the three back. You are getting a little bit dizzy, just have a stop and then you can go again. Okay. Try and keep running out from those cones. Keeping the ball on the flat side. Try and get a few more goes in. Stop! Good, okay, well done. Okay, you might be feeling a little bit dizzy now. Okay, you might be spinning around. Maybe your teacher could do it again. You could go the other way around, maybe. Try that, it'd be a little bit harder. Okay, we're going to now go on to move the ball round, but I'm going to say stop at certain points. Okay, so it might be a really random point, it might be halfway round. Okay, and I might say stop, but we're going to now try and stop the ball. When we stop the ball, this is where our loose grip on our bottom hand comes in, the tight grip on our top hand. Okay, when we dribble the ball round, we're going to spin the hockey stick using our top hand, and our right hand at the bottom just slightly loosens its grip, so that it allows me to spin the hockey stick round. The hockey stick then spins round the top of the ball, okay, allowing me to stop it. So if I was running round and they said stop, I'd spin the hockey stick round, it's gone from round the back to round the front, and it stopped the hockey ball dead. Okay, so it's exactly the same as what we're doing before, we'll be dribbling round, and I'll go stop, but you've got to try and stop as quickly as you can. 
Okay, so again, it's not all about the speed, it's all about having control over that ball. If the ball's not at your hockey stick, it's going to take you a lot longer to get it under control. Whereas if the ball's there, I can stop it straight away. Are we ready? 30 seconds. And where we go? Stop. Okay, and keep going around. Keep going around. Try and keep the ball under control. Stop. Good. If your ball rolls away, just go and get it as quickly as you can. Draw it back in. Stop. Good, and go again, go again. Keep moving around. Keep going to those curves. Stop. Stop. All good. Keep going around. Keep going. Spin in. Stop. Good, well done. Keep going. Stop. Good, okay. Well done. You can have a few goes of that. Again, you can try going the opposite way. Okay, if you're really dizzy. Just take a break, okay, and try and get yourself back in. Have a few goes with that, keep trying, try and keep that ball nice and close and keep it under control. Well done. So, earlier on when we did our, when we were going around the cone, we were stopping the ball. Then we were trying to twist the stick without actually moving our body. We are twisting the stick to get it around the other side of the ball. We're going to look at that now in a little bit more detail on how to move the ball from side to side and change direction without that ball leaving the end of our stick. Okay, so we're going to start off with a bit of a bit of a simple drill to go from side to side, really focusing on how to spin that stick. So remember, our left hand's a nice tight grip, right hand's a loose grip, so we can spin the stick with our left hand. Notice how my stick's changing, so that I can change from left to right. Okay, so we're going to do that now, we're going to go, I'm going to push my ball to my left hand side, spin the stick round, okay, so that I spin the stick round and push the ball back where it's just come from. So I'm going this way, spinning the stick round, stopping the ball, pushing it back, stopping the ball again. So we're going to try and go between these two cones, okay, same distance as what we had earlier, you might need to go a little bit wider if you want it a little bit wider, that's not a problem. Yeah, I've got a little bit wider on mine. So we can go from side to side. I want you to try and get the ball as close to that cone as you can. Okay, not actually allowing your ball to hit it. So I don't want you hitting the cone. Okay, just try and get as close as you can, as close as you can, but keeping that ball under control. So we start in the middle, and then you go either from left to right, it's up to you which way you start. Okay, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. See how many times you can go from side to side. If you lose the ball, just go and get it and come back to the middle again, as we always say. So, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Really try and keep that ball under control. As close to that cone as you can. Just don't try and rush it. Remember, we're not hitting the ball, we're pushing it. Pushing it towards the cones. Good. Twisting that hockey stick. Making sure we're only twisting with our top hand, and not our bottom one. Stop. Okay. So that was quite that was that was a good one to get us used to spinning the stick around and get us nice and comfortable for that. We are now going to look at moving the ball around the cone, so we're going in different directions. This one's a little bit harder, takes a little bit more control, so you might need to go a bit slower to start off with. What I'm going to do, so instead of following our ball around like we did in a circle, we're going to do a figure of eight around these cones now. So we're going to go. We're going to push our ball around the outside of the cone. Okay, we're not going to move our feet on this one. So our feet are going to stay still. We're not going to follow our ball. We're going to go around the outside of this left hand cone. Pushing it back to the right. Coming round. So my hockey stick is always changing direction. So you can do this in the air to start off if you want to. So you're going to be going over, spin it round. Come back and then it spins round. So you're almost doing half the circle with your hockey stick that way. Half the circle with your hockey stick that way, so you're doing a nice figure of eight. Okay, we're going to do that for 30 seconds. I'll demonstrate one more time, and then we'll go off on it for 30 seconds. Just spinning it round. Trying to keep as close to the cone as we can in a nice, smooth figure of eight. Okay, try not to hit the cone if you do, don't worry, that's not a problem. Okay, so you can do it the other way if you want to, up to you. Are we ready? 30 seconds, and away we go. Nice and close to the end of the hockey stick. Try and keep those feet still. So you might have to lean from side to side to get a reach. 
Okay, a bit of weight from one side to the other. Keep that ball moving, rhythm stick, push up. Keep going, last few, last few seconds. Stop! Good, okay, very well done. That one is a little bit harder. Good job. Keep trying, keep practicing, try and see if you can do it again. Okay, last one. Challenge for you just to finish off. All right, we're going to have a go and bring all the skills that we've done already in the last few drills. Okay, we're going to have a go at one or two things. You can have a go at both. Okay, if you've got enough time. But can we either spell our name in the floor by dribbling the ball in the direction we want to spell the letters? All right, or can you spell the school that you're at? Okay, so your name or the school. Okay, so I'm going to spell my name Scott, alright, do it stand, stand still, alright, so you don't need to go S-C-O-T-T, -T. do it sideways, you can do it stood still, alright, and I'm going to have a go, are we ready? Three, two, one, go, so I'm going to spell S, keep the ball, try and keep it still if you can, if you need to move a couple of steps, that's fine, S, C, C, a bit tricky with this ball, okay, O, go round O, T, a little bit at the end, and bring it up and across the T, and one more T, and across the T, okay, there we go, so you might have had a go at spelling my name, okay, if you want to have another go at spell your school, that'll be fab, well done guys, good work.